everybody, welcome to TV Little House. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. You know, we were watching TV the other day, and I noticed that there are a plethora of comic book TV adaptations. Stuff that I'd never thought I'd ever see. Like a Flash show. Mm -hmm. Let alone that people would actually want to see it. I've seen so many movie adaptations that are so amazing, and I've seen shit that I've never thought I'd ever see. But I guarantee you, there are some comic book adaptations out there that we will still never see. And that would be so good to see. That's right. So, without any further ado, here is our top seven list of comic book adaptations that we would love to see made into a movie, though they probably never will. Number seven, Death in the Family. The Jim Shooter Batman epic about Robin dying. Right. Uh, more importantly, about the Ayatollah. Yes! <laughs> the it, Joker's relationship with him. Right. Probably won't get yeah, the PG rating yeah. that a Batman movie seems to be earning nowadays. Guess yeah. that probably shouldn't go on. I don't yeah. think that's going to happen. Nope. Now, we may see a dead Robin. Yes. But he'll have already been killed off camera. We will never see a story in which right. Batman had a Robin, but that Robin was viciously murdered by the Joker. Yeah, with a crowbar. And then the Joker tried to... Weasel his way out of being punished for that crime by becoming <laughs> buddy buddy like with the Ayatollah community. By the way, we're not talking about like you know animation adaptation. No, we mean live seen. action. Number six, Moon Knight. Just Moon Knight, the character. Yeah, any Moon Knight movie. Any Moon Knight movie is probably a good twenty years away. I don't think they'll ever make a Moon Knight movie. Yeah. I think we'll see Moon Knight appear on the Daredevil show on Netflix. Oh, that'd be cool. I think we'll see a Moon Knight show spin out of that if he's really popular. Mm -hmm. But that's a big if. Yeah. And I don't think that anyone's going to risk any kind of funding for a movie adaptation of Moon Knight. First of all, how are you going to make that costume work in a feature film? Oh, God. Full well, white, you huge could, cape. You could do it like Sin City style. That's the only way you can do yeah, it. Yeah, like that'd be cool. Heavy, like really high contrast on every shot. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a Warren Ellis, Declan Shelley version of Moon Knight is probably A, the best version, and B, would lend itself most to that Sin City adaptation. I still don't think it's ever going to happen. No. I'm sorry to say. <sighs> Number five is Blackest Night. No fucking way they're going to do that. <laughs> Look, it's so cool. It's a great story, but guess what? You want to turn all of your heroes into zombies who remember shit and are probably going to, like, torture the other heroes that are, haven't turned into zombies yet? That's not going to happen. No. You're not going to risk public image no. to, like, scar fans and children. <laughs> nope. It's no. not going to happen. You're also hinging your entire film's success on Green Lantern. Which, as we Why? know, which they're not a bit do. of a gamble. Yeah. Plus, you already have to have established, like, the different colors of the rings. Oh. You also have to establish all the deaths of those characters that are resurrected as Black Lanterns. Right. And so it's like... Look, face it. It's too many movies. Even to get yeah. to it would be seven years away. Yeah. yeah. And then they would still never risk making that movie. There's yeah. no way. Number four, Marvel Zombies. For all the reasons we just said. Yes. Yeah, same as Blackest Night. It, but it's, similar. it's so much more, I think, because Blackest Night is actually like a it's, story. Yeah, it's actually like Marvel Zombies story. just is this... Robert Kirkman vicious <laughs> disgusting image. I think they actually kind of like pulled back on making Marvel Zombie comics when Disney made the purchase of Marvel mm. because they didn't want to see Spider-Man like eating Aunt May and Mary Jane which he did <laughs> and then feel really bad about it it's a fun ride it is a grotesque vision of the Marvel Universe yep. there's no way we're going to see that on celluloid number three is the epic series by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples Saga hugely popular independent comic would be a gorgeous animated series on like HBO we'll never be a live action movie. There are too many out there zany components that are required to be taken deadly seriously right. that there's no way they're going to risk that. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy managed to balance like zany aliens and like a grounded human message. Yeah. Saga take makes <laughs> Saga makes Guardians of the Galaxy look like the Godfather. Like there's no way <laughs> that it's ever going to get anywhere that you could take it seriously. Yeah. It would just be too ridiculous. The only thing I know about Saga is that there's a ghost who's like a half torso. Yeah. Like trails. Thing. Like, just that. That's just... She's a bad. she's like a casualty of war. She's yeah. blown apart by a landmine and then she's tethered to the family and she's like the nanny. Yeah. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. It's a great image. Oh, it would yeah. be so cool to see in real life. Yeah. You were never going to. Number two is Preacher. Now... Before you get up in arms that, oh, they're making a TV show, so it's going to happen. They're not making a TV show. They're making a mockery TV show. 
because all the shit that's in Preacher is never going to be shown on TV. You'd need Showtime or HBO for that kind of clearance. And trust me, I would love this show to actually have some success so that it maybe could propel an actual movie, but it's not gonna. No. And this movie would also need to be like four hours long to fit <laughs> everything that's in Preacher in the movie. Yeah. And we saw the stand. That failed. <laughs> Number one is Old Man Logan. One of our favorites over here at TV Little House. That's right. Would be an awesome, epic live action so movie. Oh, cool. Be a great send off for Hugh yeah. Jackman. Uh, you're never going to see it. No. Nah. Nev- they're never going to make a movie in which the Hulk eats Wolverine and then Wolverine bursts out of his stomach. No. They're yeah. never going to do that. You can't do Fox's version of Old Man Logan and the expansive, ruined Marvel landscape. Right. Like Pim Falls. There's, you're never right. going to see anything like that. Number one, because Fox doesn't have the rights to do it. Number two, Disney's <laughs> never going to let them have it. Yeah. Nope. And number three, you can't do an X-Men equivalent with just those characters that would do it justice. Yeah. Plus, you can't have the Red Skull have killed everyone yeah. and wear Captain America's costume around. Yeah. yeah. I mean... <laughs> It would be really insane. fun. It would be cool. And awesome, but yeah. an image, yeah. And I would love to see an old man Logan animated movie. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're going to do that either. Yeah, no. I think it's too dark. Yeah. But I've been wrong before. So that was our top seven list of movies that would be so cool to see, but they'll probably never make them. Uh, let us know in the comments section down below. Were we on base, off base, and what's your number one movie that you would love to see? We want your opinions on this, too. Exactly. Because, like, you guys have some great ideas of things that would make an awesome movie. Probably better than us. Oh, definitely. We're not no doubt. Uh, so don't forget to like the button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And you can see these three schmoes on other shows like Back Issues, where I explain comics to these guys who don't normally read them. And our individual issue comic review show that comes out Monday through Wednesday off the rack. Yep. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time on TV Little House. So long. He's Sal. Oh, yeah. Underneath him. That's Ben.